Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Nike Hot Seat special guest, the head coach of Clackamas Community College. Josh Roden joins us. Josh, congratulations. This was a big year for you at the NWCA National Duels in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, you and I were talking off air about this. And of the last six years, you guys have won it four times, but perhaps... This one of all had you and I scratching our heads as to who really won. Talk to us yeah. about about the victory. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, you know, coming in, I think maybe we were a little, uh, you know, underranked a bit, and some people maybe thought that uh, you know this team wasn't as good as some past teams that we've we've had that have competed out there for us. And and on top of that, you know, uh, a tie there in the final, uh, and then going to criteria. You know, I think myself and Coach Cole Spree from Ellsworth were looking at each other like, hey, do you know who won? Do you know who won? And and neither of us had a clue, to be perfectly honest with you. We both knew that it was tied 5-5 five and five in the in the matches out of 10 and and that we each had a fall. Uh, so that's the first two criteria. And then after that, I think we were both just kind of waiting to see what track wrestling told us. So um, it worked out really well in our favor. Uh, kids wrestled hard, and and uh, hats off to Cole Spree and their group because uh, it was as evenly matched a duel as you wanted to watch. So, Josh, it, help me out. Is this your 10th year? 10th year at Clackamas, yes, sir. All right. And what you've become is a tremendous mentor to the sport. Do you feel that? Do you understand when I say a tremendous mentor? You're, you're shepherding kids through a program, uh, showing them you know, the way to wrestle at the collegiate level, and then they get out there and get after it. There's got to be some pride, uh, cougar pride, you know, at some point showing. Every time I talk to you, you're just another guy. No, nah, you know, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's usually times like this when you're after it uh, and you get to reflect uh, that you get the opportunity to hear from kids who are out and about. You know, we've got Robbie Rezzolino out of NC State. He's an Eastern Pennsylvania kid. And and we got Adrian Salas at Boise State. And, you know, uh, EO Wama Odegazu at, at Oregon State University. we got guys all over the place now. And you're right, there's a sense of pride in that. And those, and those kids feel that pride because, you know, no sooner did they announce that we had won – as the phone starts, you know, getting text messages from all the kids who've helped us win the previous ones or been on past teams. And uh, there's an immense sense of uh, pride and, and just joy, I guess, that guys are doing the job they can, uh, not just on the mats, but in the classroom so that they can go out and continue to do their job for another group of guys and, and other coaches and, and help extend our, uh, you know, our program and, and further this uh this kind of ride that we've been on for the last uh, 10 years. It's been incredible. Did you hear from Richard Jensen? Uh, we do. Yeah. On Facebook always, he's <laughs> always, uh, you know, and it's always good job champ. You know, everything's champ to him. And it's like, you know, we got, we got to keep that up because, uh, I like that. I like the sound of that every time I hear from him, to be honest with you. Well, he's a good guy. And that's just Great another guy. example of a program, uh, being there, a wrestling program being there and helping to uh, help somebody grow. And it's exactly what you and I were talking about off air. The Cougars obviously had their hand raised, and it was a squeaker. Uh, take us through this year versus last year, because last year you had some travel challenges, didn't you? Yeah, last year, man, we uh, we did. And, and we were you and I were talking about it earlier. Uh, gosh, it was a long, long trip. Uh, we left on Thursday, going to compete on Friday. I was thinking, you know, we'll save a little travel money and, and get there. And we still were going to leave super early here and get early enough into Fort Wayne flying directly. Uh, Chicago's weather had other plans, uh, kept us in the airport for about six hours. Uh, when we finally did take off after boarding and deboarding the plane two or three times in Chicago, we got to Fort Wayne. He couldn't land because of visibility, landed in Indianapolis, refueled, de-iced again, finally landed in Fort Wayne about, gosh, midnight. Um, and this is a story I told my guys you're going to be able to tell forever because then they worked out throughout the night, uh, slept for about an hour, hour and a half, and that's no exaggeration. I'm not a, not the type to exaggerate at all. We got up, uh, got a little more off the guys. A couple guys were close to being broke mentally just from the, the lack of sleep and uh, got everybody down to weight, thankfully. Uh, Russell pretty poorly to be honest but uh, got the W last year which was amazing and then you know this year's group it's like hey we're going to get there early we're going to be relaxed we're going to be fresh uh, and, it, and it helped them it benefited them to be honest with you to get there early enough to work out uh, get our bodies feeling good get the rest we needed to come off you know those three hours that we lose going back there and the long travel but I promise you we did land in Chicago and then drive from that point on and probably will do so from here on out you know it's <laughs> Never trust the weather in the no. central United States at this yeah. time of the year. But weather up in Oregon is just as iffy, isn't it? 
Oh, it can be. I'll tell you what, it, we, we like to say it's bipolar up here just because, you know, 10 minutes ago it was sunny and 60 and it'll probably snow tonight or something, you know, so it, do, it doesn't make a difference here either, I guess. You know, thankfully we get more rain than we do snow or ice up in the Portland area. Yeah, so much for saving uh, saving for a budget, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so break it down for me. On that yeah. team uh, of those young men that, that wrestled for you, talk yeah. to me about that team break it down give me your top five performers you know uh it's gonna start with uh Hazel west uh we call him bam bam that's his nickname and uh he had a great weekend he was 4-0 uh he beat two top ranked guys and and you know came in he was ranked just there at the bottom we ranked to the top eight in the njcaa and he's ranked eighth and came in beat number two and number five i think and really had a great weekend uh gained a lot of confidence for himself and his teammates john marin ranked number two for us uh, also, he went 4-0, had a great weekend. Those guys both were just staples for us, and, and uh, you know, our guys counted on them to close out the the matches for us. Mikey Knobloch at 133 uh, had a great weekend, lost a tough one to a kid who's ranked right behind him. They're 2-3, and three, and uh, so we got some gains to make there, and and he knows it, and he's he's accepting the challenge. Um, you know, Brandon Johnson, I, I got to say him, he's going to be – frustrated he's number one ranked heavyweight but he lost two matches this weekend that were both tight but we wouldn't be in the finals if he didn't uh major the guy against iowa western we'd have tied again and who knows what would happen because i already told you i don't know all the criteria in the in the ties um but we did end up beating iowa western by one in the quarters uh to advance to a semi against the number one ranked team northeast oklahoma um and then finally i think the fifth guy i'd say is devon sapien had a great weekend for us kind of a tie with him and chris garcia because garcia studded out and i think we sort of expect him to but devon got a big win there in the final against a ranked opponent uh to help us get the five and five uh that we needed in that duel to to kind of swing it our way so we 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 end up having uh, an outstanding performance a nail biter at the end yeah uh, i i asked you this this morning i said so does a guy like you take a day off and no you you this morning when I talked to you, it was early. You were at the, I think you were grocery shopping, right? Yeah, yeah. My wife and I just dropped our daughter off and then had to get groceries. We were out of the house. She, they come with me everywhere we go. Um, and so we were, we've were. we been gone since last Wednesday, and uh, we, we figured we better get some food. Otherwise, kids won't eat. So we got to take care of that first thing. I go back to you at, uh, what was it, 2000, 2001, uh, Crook County High School's your graduation point. I mean, you were a standout there, and then you were a standout at Clackamas. Wrestling's been good to you. Yeah, it's been something that's a, a passion and a love of mine. My my entire family's wrestled. Um, you know, my brothers, my cousins, my uncles, my dad, um, and it's just something that kind of bleeds through us. Uh, my wife told me a funny story this morning. I didn't know my, both my brothers and my dad met at my dad's house uh, at 5 a.m. on Saturday because they thought the semi started at eight. Well, they forgot the time change, and it was 11 o'clock time on the east, and so they were having coffee at 4.30 and, and finally figured out that they get to go back to bed before they get up and watch uh, watch the semis where we were competing against Northeast Oklahoma. So it's just something that we love, uh, we do a lot of, and, and still uh, my brothers you know, uh, follow us everywhere and Crook County High School where we all graduated from uh, in wrestling. So it's just part of, our, part of what we do, man. How cool is that? Well, <clears throat> Josh, uh, congratulations to you and all the Cougars. Uh, sure. another victory, another title. And I got to tell you, I got to believe your, your athletic department is very, very pleased with you. And there's a lot of pride there in Cougar land. Yeah, I think so too. And, and, uh, it's nice to, you know, it's always nice to be a winner, but, uh, that, that our guys keep doing their job in the classroom, you know, that's just as important to the president and, and the Dean and everybody. And, um, they, they keep doing their part, uh, our kids and, and I'm sure everybody will keep doing theirs on the other end for sure. By the way, the fourth criteria is what it took. And the fourth criteria was total near fall points scored only from decisions, majors, and tech falls as the deciding factor. <laughs> I tell you what, that's a lot of performance there from a good group of young men. Congratulations, Coach, and well done. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. He's been a guest on our show many times, and he'll continue if, <laughs> if I have anything to say about it. Nike Hot Seat today, very special guest, head coach of Clackamas Community College, Josh Roden, picks up another title, another championship, fourth over the past six years. Job well done at this year's NWCA National Duels. And I love it. It's good stories like this that keep us on track. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Scott Casper for Takedown Wrestling Media.